Hi, I'm Keith. And I'm Georgia. And we're living a dream. All right, so we're heading south on 89. We just left um, Riverside Ranch RV Park. Uh, we had five nights there. Looking forward to the next stop, which is Page, Arizona, uh, Page Lake Powell Campground. We're looking at about a three hour drive down and we got a Walmart stop right in Page before we go over to our campground. So beautiful day. It's supposed to be 80 for the next two days in Page. So we're gonna enjoy that. We got two nights there and there's lots of stuff to see. Driving down 89, heading south. Real pretty views still, lots of lots of red and pink rock mountains and we just went by uh, the pink coral sand dunes um, state park which we are not stopping at. Pretty drive though, 89 is a great road. Very scenic. Still about 40 miles from Page, Lake Powell, and the uh, scenery's changing all the time. We've been up on the flat for quite a while. Uh, the elevation here is only like 5,500 feet. Arizona. We're coming down into Page, Lake Powell area. I can see the Colorado River. Glen Canyon Dam Visitor Center. Well, let's check this out if we think we can get our rig in here. We're pulling the trailer, so. I guess this dam produces electricity. Look at all that. Doesn't say no RVs, does it? Okay. Very cool. The Glen Canyon Dam was constructed in the early 60s and at 710 feet high, it's the second tallest uh, concrete arch dam in the country. Uh, it's second to the Hoover Dam, uh, which is just 16 feet taller. The Glen Canyon Dam on the Colorado River also forms the nation's second largest reservoir, uh, Lake Powell. And that also is second only to Lake Mead, which is behind Hoover Dam. We arrived at Page Lake Powell Campground with plenty of time to relax. It's a nice campground and it wasn't busy at the time, um, but I could see where if it was a busy time, uh, the sites are a little closer together than we like, so it would be a little busier than, than we would prefer. Okay, so we are on our way out. This is uh, the first morning in Page, Arizona, and we are on our way out to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. And um, it's our anniversary, our 35th anniversary. So we're gonna spend our 35th anniversary um, at the Grand Canyon today. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I think it's gonna be 80 or low 80s, dry air, uh, very pleasant, sunny, very nice. Campground was pretty quiet last night. Got a good night's sleep. Uh, Georgia didn't make me any special breakfast this morning though. I don't know why I thought maybe for our anniversary I'd get special breakfast but I did not I just had coffee so maybe another time <laughs> we're 
we're still oh, about 100 and 113 miles from the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Uh, this is all up on the plateau and uh, pretty scenic up here. Look at that. I think what's on the right over there is called Vermilion Cliffs. Okay, we're still 103 miles from the north rim. Coming down 89, we're about four miles from the 89A junction. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, and it worked a little to get this road in here, didn't it? Seven thousand feet. We've come up three thousand feet since we left the floor of the valley down there. All right, here's the turn we were looking for. So now it's forty-four miles down to the north rim part. Entrance to the North Rim uh, Grand Canyon National Park. Elevation here is 8827. So we have gone from 4,000 to almost 9,000 feet of elevation. We have literally come up almost a mile in the last 80 miles or so. 
It's $35 per car to come in for a day, $30 for a motorcycle, and uh, $20 for a bicycle. We have our annual pass for national parks called America the Beautiful Pass. Looks like $35 you get up to seven days. Thirty-five dollars, you get up to up to seven days in the park. So, but to come in at all, you still have to pay thirty-five dollars. Right. Campgrounds full down there. It says. All right, we're only a few minutes away from the north rim of the Grand Canyon. We're inside the national park. The north rim features both a lodge and cabins to accommodate overnight stays. But you better make your reservations a year or more ahead. The Grand Canyon Lodge was finished in 1928 with native stone and timber. Shortly after, the lodge was destroyed by fire and rebuilt and reopened in 1936. The Bright Angel Point Trail is a paved trail approximately a half mile round trip and it leads out the spine of the ridge to Bright Angel Point. This trail is steep in places with drop-offs and stairs but provides dramatic views into Roaring Springs and Bright Angel Canyons. The round trip from our campground to the North Rim Park and back was approximately five hours. That didn't include any of the stops we made. So we decided to make the Bright Angel Point Trail um, our main focus on this North Rim visit. I'm not sure that you could find more spectacular views anywhere on the North Rim. Okay, we're just leaving the North Rim uh, Visitor Center area and lodge and cabins. Uh, it's a real nice spot down here. If you, if you don't have an RV, you can come here and stay in one of the cabins. And I believe all these cabins were built in the 20s uh, by the Union Pacific Railroad. They were hired to come in here and build a lodge and the cabins. And um, prior to that, they had nothing out here but little tent areas where you could camp out so um, it was pretty nice we like the north rim the forest around here is really pretty and uh, we bought a nice uh, Christmas ornament which is a uh, actually a small gourd that's hand painted and signed by the artist and I thought they were really beautiful uh, one of the housekeepers in the in the uh, cabin area we walked by her and she gave us a tip that at mile marker 598 on the road out there's a little uh, gravel road on the left that goes back to an old abandoned homestead. We're going to go take a look at that. We followed her directions and weren't disappointed.
An old homesteader's cabin. We were shocked that we were able to enter the cabin through a back door that wasn't even locked. Um, it's amazing that vandals haven't ransacked this place or stolen artifacts. Alright, we're coming back on 89A and heading down into the valley. And what a beautiful sight. See forever. Okay, so this is uh, Cliff Dwellers Stone House, right there. Look at these boulders that fell off that mountain. I was disappointed that there wasn't more information about the stone house, when it was built, and who built it. This is Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Okay, we're going into the Glen Canyon Recreation Area in the Marble Canyon area of 89A. So we are at Perea or Perea Beach on the Colorado River. It's about as unique as it gets. The beach was a beautiful spot, and Georgia and I had to place to ourselves. The only thing we forgot was a picnic basket. The Lonely Dell Ranch Historic Site lies within the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Jacob Hamlin a Mormon missionary sent by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints successfully crossed the Colorado River near here in 1864. In the years since, three different families have worked the river crossing and homesteaded this area, the Lees, the Johnsons, and the Emmets. The old fruit orchard still thrives, and you're permitted to pick up to five gallons of fruit per person per day for no charge. Lee's Ferry was established as the original river crossing site and used for many years until the development of bridges to bring people, animals, and wagons across the dangerous Colorado River. Ooh, look at that gorge. Yeah, I'm just a kid, you're playing
five, 600 feet down to the Colorado River. So we're leaving the Glen Canyon area, which was really, really nice, interesting. We went down to the uh, Colorado River. They had a nice little beach area right on the river, all natural. It was, it was really very different than I expected it to be. Uh, this has been a beautiful day. We're gonna head back and grab a bite to eat. And then tomorrow we're heading off to Williams, Arizona. And then the day after tomorrow, we'll be going up to the south rim of the Grand Canyon to check that out. Something tells me it can't be any better than today. Georgia and I had an absolutely perfect day. We'll never forget our 35th wedding anniversary at the Grand Canyon. I hope you'll join us again next time when Georgia and I visit Williams, Arizona in the south rim of the Grand Canyon.